Georgia Taylor Brown had to contend with a flat tire but produced a fantastic 10 km run to claim silver. GB's Jess Learmonth finished 9th while Rio bronze medalist Vicky Holland earned a 13th placed finish in Tokyo. Flora Duffy collected Bermuda's first ever Olympic gold medal. Georgia Taylor Brown overcame a puncture to win silver for Great Britain, while Flora Duffy became Bermuda's first Olympic champion in a stormy women's triathlon in Tokyo. The 27-year-old from Manchester got to the front group of seven going on to the bike leg which proved crucial after the race finally began 15 minutes late because of wet and windy conditions caused by tropical storm Nipartak. That group had been whittled down to five when, late on the final lap of the 40 kilometers and with the weather finally relenting. Taylor Brown heard a hissing from her tire, she lost 22 seconds before setting out on the 10 km run and quickly overtook teammate Jess Learmonth, whose ferocious pace on the swim split the field. And Germany's Laura Lindemann before passing Katie Zafirs of the United States heading into the final lap. Taylor Brown was thrilled with silver as she won Britain's seventh triathlon medal at the last three Olympics and recorded the best result for a British woman. Katie Zafirs, world champion in 2019, won bronze for the United States. Taylor Brown gave a delighted shrug as she stepped onto the podium after having been on crutches just 12 weeks ago with a leg injury. She had to prove she was fit enough to compete just a week before flying out to Japan. On her recent injury, the Brit said, that was probably more stressful than today, because it could have been taken away from me. But I proved that I was fit, I was ready to go, I did more than they asked me to do. Obviously it's strange to come into an Olympic Games not having raced since last September. I got a stress response in my femur 12 weeks ago. So that was a bit of a shock, my training had gone so well before then, though, so I knew I had all that in the bag. I wanted to keep it private. You don't want to show your competitors your weaknesses. And so I did just say I was ill, but I've had six weeks of building my running back again. It's not perfect, it's not what I wanted. It's not what anyone would want. But I think I got myself into a really good position, and I was as fit as I could have been on that start line today with the circumstances that I faced. Taylor Brown said of the puncture, I did have a panic. I decided not to stop and change my wheel and just see what happens now. I went really hard for the first lap of the run. I suffered after that but it paid off. I was biding my time, I was five seconds off Zafirs, for quite a while. I didnt want to push it too soon because I was really suffering but I really wanted to move up and get the silver medal. I didnt have the speed that Flora had today, no way. I'm more than happy with silver. Learmonth was happy with ninth while Rio bronze medalist Vicky Holland, competing in her third Olympics, finished 13th and the pair were thrilled for Taylor Brown. Learmonth said, you wouldn't believe how talented she is. When we came across the line I just cried, and I never cry. I just wish everyone would know how amazing she is, Holland added, I don't know anyone else who could have done the prep that Shush has done in the last 12 weeks and done that in the shape Shush is in now and deliver that. Anyone else, I don't know if they'd even make the start line. Shush has dealt with everything thrown at her like an absolute trooper. With Taylor Brown emulating Alex Yee's success in the men's race on Monday. Britain should have an excellent chance of a gold medal when the mixed relay makes its Olympic debut on Saturday.